Are you having trouble staying focused on your daily tasks and that's holding you back from accomplishing your goals? Today, I wanna to give you two ways that I stay laser focused on my actions that I know is gonna get me to that next level. What's up guys, Ricky Carruth here from ZeroToDiamond.com, the first completely free real estate coaching program. I hope you are having a really good day. I had a message from one of my coaching students. I wanted to read it to you here and then I want to give him an answer right here in this video. If you have any questions or any, any problems or anything I can help you with, just shoot me a message on Instagram at Ricky Carruth. I answer all my DMs and I'll be sure to either respond or make a video on it. So one of my coaching students sent me a message here and says, hope you're doing well, Ricky. I was wondering if you could possibly do a video about focusing on the present moment AKA giving 100% of your attention to the task at hand. This seems to be a common thread throughout all your videos. Quite frankly, I believe that you having this quality is a big reason why you are as successful as you are and live such a balanced life. In different videos, I've seen you discussing the importance of giving 100% of your attention to your work while you're working, to your health while you're working out, and to your leisure while you're kite surfing and to your family when it's family time. One of my friends told me how impressed he was that you gave him 100% of your attention when the two of you once had a chance to have lunch together, even though you probably had a million other things going on. Previously, you have also discussed how we as real estate agents shouldn't worry about all the bad stuff that could happen during a transaction, but almost never does happen. I believe that it's hard for a person to worry if they're staying in the present moment. I've seen also this quality in other highly successful people, so I would really love your take on it. If you have already talked about this in the past, or if it just doesn't sound like a very exciting topic, no worries. I just thought I would ask. Thank you so much for reading, my friend. Absolutely, it sounds like an interesting topic, and I'm really excited to make this video because you're absolutely right. This is something I talk about so much um, in all kinds of other videos, and I actually talk about this being my secret to success in a lot of videos, especially my time management video. Um, I did a video a couple weeks ago, Time Management 101. I'll link it at the end of this video. And I talk about the fact that the reason I get so much done is because I don't worry about what I have in front of me, what is in process, what is pending, Right, And I'm very quickly just let the process take care of that stuff while I continue on looking for more people to help or more tasks to complete or more projects to tackle. So I'm always looking for that next, that next, that next. Once I get one in progress, then I'm done. Right, I'm gonna let the process take care of that. I talk about 90% of the things that we worry about never happen, so why should you worry about it at all? The five or 10% of the things that you could worry about that do happen, you can worry about those when they happen. You know, So why don't we spend that energy and that time and that mental capacity focusing on the future and things that we can get done right now to, to, to create progress, right? And produce, 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 produce. So I'm a big advocate on not worrying about anything, being very calm, cool, and collected in all situations, and only worrying about things when they arise, and then quickly jumping on those problems and taking care of them immediately before they get big. I also talk a lot about when I'm at work, I'm really focused on work, laser focused, and when I'm done with work, I completely shut that part of my brain off, and then I turn the, the family time of my brain on. If I'm at the gym, I'm totally focused on the gym and what I'm trying to do right there at the gym. I have very little distractions. I wouldn't say zero distractions. I still have my phone, it's still dinging, things are still happening, but I've become very, very good at not letting distractions get in my way of the overall goal of what I'm trying to accomplish right then. This is something I've been really good at from day one. From, from, from the time I was a little kid, I, I was really focused on whatever I was doing at the time and I would work on it, work on it, work on it. When I wanted to play guitar, I played guitar for hours and hours and hours until I became somewhat decent. When I wanted to play basketball, I practiced for hours and hours and hours for months, for months and years until I could shoot really well. 
Same thing with football or working out or real estate, right? And now coaching and making YouTube videos. So I, uh, I'm really, I'm really a laser focused kind of person. Whatever I'm dialed in at the time is is what I have going on. So I want to tell you two ways that I really kind of keep my focus and stay, stay on target. Okay, stay on the course. The first way that I do it is I think of whatever I'm doing at the time as a form of therapy, if you will. It brings me happiness when I'm productive. And when I'm, when I'm in the middle of a project or a task at hand, being really focused on that task gives me a sense of therapy. It gives me a sense of escape, right? These tasks are an escape for me away from possible other problems. When I went through bad times in my life, I've been through some really tough times. I've had really close friends die. I've, I've had drug and alcohol problems. Um, I've had all kinds of different things happen. Financial problems, everything. And whenever I'm going through a rough time, I used my work. I used real estate or roofing houses or working in an oil rig, whatever I was doing at the time. I used it as an escape from those problems and, and a form of therapy. And it does two things for me that's really productive, really positive, and that is it keeps my mind off whatever bad things are happening at the time and it creates a situation where I'm super productive and I'm making things happen. So two really positive things comes out of that when you use your task at hand as a form of therapy, right? And when you produce and you're super productive, you become successful and now you're providing for your family on a whole other level. Right, and so that's very, very important to me is to provide for my family and friends. If somebody needs something, I'm gonna be there. And the reason I can take off to go help friends move furniture or give somebody $200 for groceries is because I work hard enough to be in the position to take off or to give them a little bit of money or whatever the case may be. So I'm working hard to be able to provide for all those around me and I feel it as a, a real obligation and responsibility to do so. So I feel like I need to focus in on these tasks, okay? But I, but the way that I do it is I use it as, as, as a form of therapy that makes me happy because I know I was productive. The second way that I stay super focused, laser focused on whatever I'm doing is, is I have a big why. I always have a big why going on in my life and that big why changes. It's always changing. It's never the same. People can say I have the, this big why and that's all it's gonna be for you know, 10, 20 years. It's not true. You may have one for 10 to 20 years. I'm not saying you won't. You can have one for 50 years. I'm not saying that you won't, but I'm saying mine has changed over the years. Um, it's always something different. Um, I can't really say what the time frame is. It's never the same time frame. But right now, at this point in my life, it's literally to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. That makes me jump out of bed. I jump out of bed at 4.30 and I start working on my coaching business. I, I upload this YouTube video, I send out an email to all my coaching students to alert them that the video is there so they can watch it before they go to work. And I'm hoping that that inspires them to have a really good day and a super productive day and really crush it and, and achieve all their goals that they have for that day. You have to have a big why. You have to have a reason, a bigger reason, something that's bigger than you that's really driving you, that's really pulling you, that's really gravitating you towards something that you can be a proud of, that you can really look back one day and say, I did it, right? So I know that my day-to-day -day tasks and activities is, are the things that's gonna get me to that goal. And if I don't complete the tasks, I know I'm not gonna get there. It's really black and white, it's really that simple. So I have two things, two ways that I stay laser focused on everything that I do. The first way is I use my work as therapy, a form of therapy that makes me happy when I'm accomplishing things and I'm super productive. Okay, and it does so much for me because it helps me mentally if I have bad things going on and it, it, it makes me continue to be more and more productive. The second way is that I always have a big why in place that's always driving me. And one day I may wake up and decide, you know, this isn't, this isn't motivating me the way it used to, right? This big why, just something about it just isn't motivating me the way it used to. I need to think of something else. And that's really how I got into coaching. 
I, uh, the big why of wanting to make a million dollars in a year. I guess that was my big why with real estate is I wanted to make a million dollars in a year so that I could say that I did it and provide for my family, like I said, and just be in position to help people on a financial level. But when I hit it, then it was over. That was it. Now what am I going to do? That's when I had to search around and figure out what a bigger reason for me to be productive was. And that was to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. I can't say that it'll be that same big why in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. I don't know. But I feel like regardless if it continues to be my number one priority and number one big why, it's always going to be a big reason why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. And I will continue on this mission. I'm, I'm when, when I finally breathe my last breath, I will look back and say, I reduced the failure rate in the real estate industry and I helped millions of real estate agents over my lifetime achieve success when they may not have otherwise. So I hope this video helps you realize how I stay so laser focused on everything that I do and gives you some kind of direction to figure out how to be laser focused on your daily tasks. If it did help you all, please hit that like button and shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think. Every little comment helps and like I said in the beginning, if there's a certain video you guys would like me to make please just comment below and let me know about that let me know if you guys have any questions anything in the world i can do for you we'll talk to you soon